This is Chris Kale with your Peak Fitness Strength Testing. For our strength testing, we want to test out three key body weight exercises that give us an indication of upper and lower body strength. So with that said, our first exercise is a push-up. For the push-up, I want you to take maybe a carpet square. I've got a couple carpet squares here. You can use something like a towel or a pillow, whatever you might have available to you. Place it under your hands. Uh, hands are spread shoulder width apart here. I want you to come into a push-up position, feet are together. I want you to give me five push-ups here. Alright, I want to see if you can get your chest down on the pad, pause, and come back up. Some errors to look for in this exercise would be arching or leaning excessively, dipping down with the torso, or shrugging of the shoulders. Alright, if you find that you can't do this on the floor with proper form, what I want you to do is just move up a little bit. So you would move up to some kind of step. Same rules apply. I want you to try to get down as far as you can comfortably and come back up. I'm looking for the ability to complete five good reps. All right. Again, with this, you know, if you can't get it here, move up to something like a table. Uh, you can move all the way up to a barbell. The higher up you can go, you can go all the way up to the wall. The less, the more, the more inclined we are, kind of the less weight we're bearing. If you can do it on the floor pretty easily, what I want you to do is place your feet up on a box or a step. Shoulder blades uh, squeeze together here. Back is flat like a table. Pause at the bottom and come back up. All right. I want you to record the level that you're able to do it at. So like floor, step, whatever it may be. Feet up on a box. Um, you know, put that in our uh, push-up column. For our next exercise, we have an inverted row. Okay, for the inverted row, I'm going to have you start under a barbell here, if you have that available to you. You're going to straighten your legs out, hips up in the air. I want you to pull your, actually, your knees, you're going to start with your knees bent. You're going to pull your chest to the bar. Okay, and I'm looking for five of these. Okay, some errors to look for here. Leading with the hips, shrugging the shoulders, or kind of leading with the chest with the hips sagging down. So I want you to get your hips up, flat like a table. If you're able to do that with your knees bent, I want you to straighten your legs out, pause at the top, come back down. Again, I'm looking for five, and if you can do that, all right, the ultimate progression would be get up on a box, same rules apply, or a bench, same rules apply, chest the bar, pause, I'm looking for five. All right, for our last exercise, we have a split squat. All right, for the split squat, what I'm going to have you do is you're going to bring one foot in front of the other. You're in a split stance here. I want you to drop the back knee down to the pad and come back up to six times. All right? And what I'm looking for here, I want everything to be straight. All right? I want you to drop straight down. I want to see if you're able to get down without leaning forward excessively, internally, externally rotating the knee, or just a lack of stability, whether or not you can balance. All right? If you can't do that with good form, which, what you can do is just add a couple carpet squares um, to this so you can make it, you can put maybe like a pillow or something so you don't come down quite as far, you just reduce the range of motion. If you could do that pretty easily, what I want you to do is place your back foot on a step like this or a bench. The higher you go, like maybe an exercise bench is a little bit higher than this, would make it a little bit more difficult, but I want you to drop your back knee down on the pad, same rules apply, knee stays over the toe, back is, or everything is straight, coming straight up and down. All right, once again, I want you to record uh, you know, the level that you're able to do this at, how many reps you're able to complete, whether you're able to get you know, five or more, and as well, you know, if you felt any pain during any of these exercises. Record that information in your chart, uh, send it back to me, and I will create your program.